Everybody wants their clothes to look good, but not everything that looks good is good for your body. Dr. Sean Riley from Tulsa Spine and Rehab joins us again. Dr. Riley, you've probably seen plenty of examples of fashion leading to pain. <laughs> yeah, painful fashion, trendy equals torture, uh, you know. Uh, fashion over function. I always joke with a lot of my female patients about some of these things, but you know I've seen some you know some some significant injuries, some some things uh, some women have dealt with related to purses, hand high heels. You guys all knew that was coming. High heels is a biggie, and you know as much as I talk to to my uh, female patients about this, it's it's really difficult getting them away from from the high heels. But number one, heavy purses is gonna you know. I have a lot of patients that present with neck and shoulder pain. One of the first things that I do is I kind of look down to see what they're carrying. Typically, you know, that bag is too, too big. And on that note, Scott, we don't want to pay attention just to how big the bag is because I've seen a lot of women that, you know, could have a mid-sized bag and have it really, you know, loaded down. Um, So I I think that, you know, they're going to come in with some kind of shoulder or arm pain. It typically isn't anything serious. It's not going to cause like a permanent skeletal deformity. It's just going to kind of be a nagging injury that's going to hurt hurt a lot. So you know, a few tips that you can that you know you women can try to to work on to prevent injuries. You know, if you carry a heavy purse, obviously this is a no no brainer. Alternate between sides or shoulders. You know, I, I would also recommend that you switch your handbags so that you're not carrying a purse on every day. You know, most women out there have a whole plethora of purses and so forth. So, so switch them up if you can, you know, or if you have a big tote, you know, like a laptop bags or something, maybe transfer some of those materials into that bag that you can just keep at your office. You know, if you do happen to buy a large purse, choose one, you know, I, this has been uh, worked out really well for us. Choose one with wider straps. This will help distribute some of the weight over their broader areas of the shoulders And it won't create, you know, hopefully it will reduce some of the load and reduce some of the pressure. What about the impact of high heels? Oh, man. I mean, that's a biggie. And we talk about that all the time. And I've seen really serious foot type injuries from bunions to stress fractures to to breaks, uh, plantar fasciitis, Achilles injuries, different things like that. Not only related to the foot, I've also seen, you know, a lot of women with low back pain. When I screen a lot of women with low back pain, I typically take, just like with the purse, I'm going to take a look and see what type of footwear they have on. And a lot of these professional women that are wearing high heel shoes throughout the day, it can create a lot of problems in the, in the feet and in the low backs. A few tips related to those, you know, if you're going to wear these, I call them these um, high fashion shoes, don't wear them if you're going to be standing on your feet more than two to three hours at a time. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, they're not set up for that. So try to limit their use. If you're at the dinner table at your office, I would recommend that you maybe kick them off your feet, give your, you know, your feet a little time to rest. Also, if you're, if you're at a special event and you need high heels, which, you know, I know all you women do maybe bring another pair of shoes. So when you have some downtime, you're, you're able to put on these other pair of shoes that might give your, your feet a little bit of a break. I also recommend that when you're picking out your shoes, be somewhat conscious of what it might do to your foot or your low back. I would stay reasonably with, you know, within reason, within the length of the hill. You know, I, I say to two to three inches, I know a lot of you women that are listening just blew me off completely on that one. But that, you know, that's a good kind of margin to stay within. You know, if you can stay with like a supple leather, that's always better too. It'll go a little bit easier on your feet. That really hard leather leather is kind of tough on your feet as well. And this is something that usually manifests itself over time. Is that right? Or 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 can it be right? Quick? It is, and it's more cumulative. You know, it's um, yeah. you know, typically with foot type injuries, you're going to know if that shoe is uncomfortable. You know, we've all put new shoes on that first day, and it, your foot bothers you a little bit. But throughout the week or the couple of weeks, when you break that shoe in, it gets a little bit better. But a lot of times with these high heels, you're it's going to be uncomfortable. So with the foot pain, you're going to have problems pretty much. You know, it, it's going to be quick and onset. Low back pain, though, Scott, is more of like a cumulative or of a chronic. It takes time, puts a lot of stress on the knees, the hips, and then the low back. So that's one of the first things that I tell a lot of my, my female patients with low back pain is let's try to make some adjustments adjustments in your footwear. 
So it sounds like at least when it comes to shoes, nothing is necessarily off limits. It's more of a everything in moderation type. Yeah, of within reason. I mean, you know, be smart about picking the shoes out. Be smart about picking your purse out. We want you to look good. I am not saying that. But just be conscious and weary of your body when you're picking some of these items out and then maybe use them in moderation. And then when you can take a break now and then and switch things up, I recommend that as well. Sometimes aches and pains won't just go away on their own. You can get it checked by Dr. Riley and his team at Tulsa Spine and Rehab. Give them a call today, 918-743-3737. 